Ladies and gentlemen. Talk out T-Rap! Give me a hell yeah! Yes! Bad up. Dude, thank you so much for doing this, man. You don't know how, how much I appreciate it. I'm very excited. Uh, for, for those that may not know you, sir, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you're, you're hanging right now. Plug or promote anything you'd like. My name's Sam. I live in Margate in England. We're sort of as, as far south as you can be in England, right on the coast. Yeah, I'm, I'm the drummer in a band called Tokyo Tea Room. Hell yeah. How did uh how did the band first form? How long have you guys been together for? Because we just discovered we you like maybe like three weeks ago. Nice. Yeah, we we all we all met at university. It was like 2013, and uh, we all we all studied music performance in Canterbury, about an hour away from here. And yeah, the the we all met. In 2013, 2014, we we started the band. We've had sort of various members and and whatever since then. But you all just had yeah. had a, had a love and, and a unique uh, likeness for for that kind of just chill, jazzy, dream pop kind of vibe. Or did everyone kind of bring a different element to the table, and you guys mutually agreed to make that kind of music? Man, no, no, not at all. Like I. I don't listen like I I love our stuff, but we not we all all of us listen to to different stuff. All we're all we're all totally totally different. And even, like when I joined the band, we we weren't making this sort of music. When when I joined, I got given like a an EP of these these indie tunes that I I thought were really cool. So I learned all these indie tunes and turned up to like a, a rehearsal where we'd all met for the first time. And we've never fucking played one of those songs ever. <laughs> you know what I mean, so the back the back up that I joined ne never even happened. And then like our first EP, which was it's called Key Philosophy, that was like grunge. We used to be like really grungy and and sort of doomy. Is that on here? And then yeah, over time we've just sort of evolved into what it is now. Like I say, none of us particularly. I mean, I mean Dan, our our, um, our guitarist. And like primary songwriter, he's he's quite heavily involved in the in the dream pop world. But I know a few of us. It's just not we we, we listen to all sorts of, all sorts of things. I don't think they have to be mutually exclusive. Did you did you ever make music prior to this? Like as far as like being in a band playing gigs? Yeah, I mean, I've I've, I've always me personally or, or as the band. You personally? Yeah, yeah, man. I've I've always. I've always done music, always since I was since I was a little kid. I've always had a band or a project or or something on the go. I used to teach a little bit when I was younger. Hell yeah! One of the things I I really like about about you guys is you give full monetization to people that use your music in things. That's something I noticed that a lot of ar other artists don't do that. Where like if I shoot a reaction video, it'll always be like copyright. But for all of your guys' music, it always says none. Like you want people to use it in in projects and things. Is that Something that you guys discussed, or is that something you're even aware of? I mean, the 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 way I see it is that if you put something online, it works both ways, right? And it's 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 cool that you've just said that because you just said that you like the fact that it's it's monetization free and and anyone can use it, and that works both ways because if you type in Tokyo Tea Room on YouTube you're met with like a few things we've uploaded and then a hundred things that other people have uploaded. So it's, it's, there's an element of sort of free advertising, I suppose. It totally is. People can use it. I think it's smart. It, I think more people it, should do it. You, more you're, you're right. Like hundreds of hundreds of other channels have, have been like, you got to hear this band. You got to hear them. They're amazing. Blah, blah, blah. It's fantastic. I think if, if you love her is the first song we ever heard here um which is the one that was recently in, in uh, our tournament of champions could you just go uh like discuss what that song is about from a lyrical perspective i know you didn't necessarily write the lyrics but what does it mean to you from a lyrical perspective what does it mean to me 
if you love her, man, you're putting me in it. I think it's, I mean, primarily, I can't, I can't share too much about what it's actually about because it's, it's not really my place to say. That would be, that'd be more the, the songwriter's sure. uh, perspective. But I think lyrically, and for, for all our songs really, is that I think when the way we construct a song is fairly sort of formulaic. We've got, we've got a sort of, I call it like the Tokyo Code. And all the songs sort of follow it. I like and that. there's there's never any lyrics in the chorus. It's always like there's there's that old uh, Dave Grohl quote. It's like don't bore us, get to the chorus. And we've sort of completely fucked that off. And like if if you listen to it, to any of them, there'll be like a strong, uh, like it, there'll be like an intro thing, and then there'll be a, a, a verse. And then the, the second you get to the chorus, the first one is always instrumental. So I think it's like. That's that's how I sort of see. That's that's your thinking time. I mean, you hear you hear the first verse. You're not bombarded with like something else. There's a lot of room to think. I love that. Like, I love that you're, you're giving us the formula. So there always is a instrumental only chorus before the big chorus comes in the second the second round. I mean, usually there isn't one the second round either. There's 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 usually just verse instrumental verse instrumental. And then, like, the end will sort of, they'll, they'll middle eight or, or wherever we go. But it's usually only the last 30, 45 minute of a song where you'll get that chorus, quote unquote, bit that you want. I got you. I do want to jam that song real quick. And then, obviously, we're going to ask you how you guys came up with the band name. So we'll be thinking about that answer. But I got to at least show people what we're talking about here. We're hanging out with Tokyo Tea Room. If you enjoy the tunes, please, please support them. Hit that follow button. So sexy. What are you? What are you sipping on? What are you sipping on? I've got a, I've got a little glass of wine. Nice, excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Can I see your Pink Floyd ink? I saw you had a big Pink Floyd piece right here. Yeah, man. I got the the two best albums ever made. Oh yeah, they're comboed together. That's awesome. So, so you, have you had the opportunity to see uh, either of the of the Pink Floyd touring acts? Because they're obviously like separated, but have you got a chance to see either one of them? I, I do. I've got a bit of a story, actually. We, uh, so an old girlfriend of mine, her aunt is a, a session singer. And she got given a gig touring with uh, David Gilmore when he, I can't remember what tour it was. Wow. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, but, but yeah, she, she went on tour with him. And they were playing at the, the Royal Albert Hall. Obviously, she knew I was a massive Pink Floyd head and uh, gave, got, rang me and said, like, do you want tickets to go and see them? I was like, fucking, yeah, obviously. Of course, of course. So <laughs> I went with, it was her little brother. Me and him travelled up. We went to, to the Royal Albert Hall and we watched the show and it was stupid, crazy, crazy good. And then afterwards, like, as we walked out, we had all these, like, fucking wristbands and and lanyards thrown on us and we just kept sort of walking like through doors and backstage and like turns out that her aunt had got us like all of these uh backstage passes and, and everything i had no idea we went again like through another door and then i looked across the room and fucking david gilmore was there stood in the corner just eating things off of his rider so i can completely froze and freaked out and was like, I don't know what to do. I had a big fucking Pink Floyd jumper on. The second I saw him, I was like rolling sleeves up, making sure the tattoo was out. I was like, I need to. <laughs> yes. And uh, the, her, my ex-girlfriend's little brother walked over to him and was like, can I get your photo? Can I get a, a picture with you? He was like, yeah, absolutely. So I like, he gave me his phone and I stood and I, I, I took a picture with him. Uh, I took a picture of him, sorry. And uh, 
then I, I gave the phone back. And as I gave the phone back, I shook his hand and I was like, brilliant. I was like, do you mind if I get a photo with you? And that motherfucker looked me dead in the eyes and ignored me and walked off. And it broke my heart. I did not Dude, see that oh, coming. I did that, not I did see not that theory. coming. Holy shit. What a curveball. Damn, what a I mean, heartbreak. If, if I could rub this off in that moment, if I could get rid of this fucking tattoo, I would have done. It broke my heart. Wow, man, I'm sorry. Okay, so tell me you have a good story about Roger Waters. Not oh, as not as good, but you, you saw him live and <laughs> kicked ass. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Did, were you able to bring hot sauce today? Hot sauce? No. No, I, I don't I don't have hot sauce. Okay, no worries. Uh, just seeing if you want to do some trivia, but you get you get to pick the topic of the trivia, uh, meaning okay. what movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. Shit. Okay. A film, movie, or TV show. My opinion: it's easier to go with a movie because there's a lot of TV show episodes, but it's your call. Fuck, I don't want to pick one and then mess it up. I'll uh, go, I, I think, Starship Troopers. Really? Okay, cool. Give me a second to look up some, some trivia on Starship Troopers. I'm going to play another one of my favorites right here. Go fucking easy. In Starship Troopers, the main actor, I believe his name is Johnny, who is Johnny's girlfriend in high school that gets killed? What is the name of his girlfriend in high school that gets killed? Is That is correct! Give me a hell yeah! Well done! Well done! Diz! It says it also would have accepted Carmen. Carmen was his actual girlfriend, but Diz was a fling, but she she gets killed. So technically both, I would have accepted both answers. Yeah, but Carmen didn't die. You said the girlfriend that died. Right, it says the answer, it says Carmen is actually his girlfriend, but Diz is a fling and Diz is killed. Yeah, okay. So, so okay. I'm just, I accept, we, we would accept both <laughs> answers. Cannonball beer chug. Do, do you guys do? Uh, is cannabis openly legal in in the UK? No, no, not at all. Not. But shit, we do it. Yeah, you still sneak one in every now and then. Right? <laughs> Hell yeah! When uh, when can we expect? Uh, what can we expect in 2023 from from Tokyo Tea Room that you're allowed to talk about? An EP. There's there's. In discussion at the minute, there's uh, either the end of this year or the beginning of next year, there's an EP featuring the, the, the two singles that have just come out and another two. But it might, a, it might come out the end of this year, like literally in the next like two and a half weeks? It could, it could, the plan was that it was going to come out the end of this year, but now the um, we're sort of in talks with the label with that they don't know if it's the right time to release it or... or it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's have a you guys nice. announced the label stuff or is that all future announcements fuck I hope we did <laughs> well because you sure didn't say did. who it was so we don't know anything but no I'm no, I, yeah but we're working with nice guys we're, people people know we're working with nice guys they're a, um, a label out of Paris in France and they've yeah they, they've we put out our single it's me and you that was our, our first one. We worked with them, and then they wanted to work again with a uh, an EP. So that's these two singles of uh, uh, sort of just promoting the EP, basically. Awesome. And yeah, that'll either be out the end of, well, ju just literally a couple of days before Christmas or the end of January. We don't know yet, but it's it's all done and it's uploaded and it's it's out of our hands now. So that 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 will be out. We've got some merch dropping very very soon, hopefully which is fairly limited, I'd say. We're sort of trying to make it limited. So it's, it's, it's always nice to see sold out. Yeah, that is, that it's is always nice to see that. Ding, yeah. sold out. Excellent. We just printed, we printed five shirts and all our mums and dads are just buying them and it makes us feel better. What, what no, is... Yeah, there's, there's, 
I'm sorry. Uh, what is the name of, of your vocalist? I'm sorry we don't know this information. Is is Beth? Beth is the... Beth. Beth Plum, her name is, yeah. Please tell Beth we are absolutely, absolutely huge fans of, of her vocals and the way that she she her orchestrates and arranges her music and her lyrics. We're just Please send that, uh, that love that way. I only have a couple more questions for you, Sam. I know it's super early over there. Uh, two final questions. If if uh, nice guys are like, guys, it's time. We're going on a world tour. We're going everywhere. We're going 100 different cities. What city are you circling on your globe that you're more excited about to, to uh, tour and play than, any, than anywhere else? I think... I mean, so... so or country. Or, or country. I think I think LA is where is where really we end up. Yeah, I think so. That's our. We've got more listeners in LA than we do in the whole of England. That's so insane. If we could go anywhere at the minute, I think I think it would be there. Well, I'll tell you what, sir. If you come to LA, you can catch my ass right up in the front row, hanging out, partying, and I'm bringing a small (laughs) army with me. That's for sure. That is for sure. (laughs) Sam, final question for you. And if it's okay with you also, can I put this on YouTube later tonight? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Awesome. Uh, what is a, I ask almost every guest we have on the show, this final same question. What is a piece of musical advice, somebody in the industry, maybe while you were in college, uh, that they told you this advice and it kind of just made you take your career more seriously or two part question or a big mistake you made early on in your career that you don't want a band that's just starting to make. Um, or okay. you can answer both. Up to you. I will. I, I think I will answer both. The, the the second part of your question: mistakes in 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 making bands. I don't know that there's a lot. Truth be told, I don't think I don't think you, you can do a lot wrong if you're making music and and playing gigs and and releasing music and and doing that. If no, there's a good, very very good chance for for ten. Well, at least, at least sort of eight, ten, maybe fifteen years. No one's going to listen to it, and no one's going to give a shit. But if you, you you do it, eventually someone might. There was a quote uh, one of my lecturers said to me. I need to try and say it right. It was a uh, you give up. Oh, okay. So when we talk about music, it was a uh, if you do it for money, then you're going to give up. And if you give up, you'll never know what could have happened. And cool. I would say, like musicians, all of the answers to any question that you have on any instrument that you're playing already exists in songs that are out there. You just got to listen. You've got to listen to everything. You've got to listen to as much shit as you possibly can. I love it. And just who cares if people don't like it? Just just release music there there is no wrongs there's only it could happens if you keep doing it exactly and if you don't do it it's definitely not going to happen it's true absolutely sam you have yourself a fantastic night sir really quick throw out a random number we're doing a mad lib during the middle of today's show throw out a random number any number at all any number uh 28 28 heard sam of tokyo t row give me a hell yeah have a great night, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank I'll, you send, I'll, I'll send the link to you in the, the band's page when the YouTube's ready. Appreciate it.